Thank you. Let's go on to the leader of the Alberta Liberal Opposition. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Last week, the Premier refused to pay back the $45,000 she wasted on our South Africa trip. Now, we learned that in Budget 2014, spending on the Premier's office is up $1.2 million, a nearly 10% increase for the Imperial Court. Meanwhile, this government slashes the child health benefit by 6% and the seniors' drug plan by a whopping 25%. To the Premier, why is, why is your office budget so much more important than Alberta's seniors and children? Honourable Deputy Premier. Mr. Mr. Speaker, by phrasing the question in that way, the Honourable Member is obviously misunderstanding entirely what's happening with the seniors' budget and the other budgets. But I can tell him what I told the Leader of the Opposition. Albertans contact this government. They want to tell us what they're thinking, and they want responses. And they want them on a timely basis. And we make no apologies for giving Albertans timely, accurate information about what's actually happening in this province. The Premier's office and the Premier want to have others come from around the world to see what's happening in Alberta, because they make investments in Alberta. They come and work in Alberta, and they buy our products. And it's important to be able to host them appropriately. First supplemental. Mr. Speaker. It's no wonder we're going into debt because they don't know how to do math. A cut's a cut, and a $1.2 million increase in the budget is an increase. Mr. Speaker, according to the Imperial Court itself, $400,000 of this increase is for hosting expenses. Assuming our famously well-traveled Premier were to stick around from Monday to Friday every week, she would still be spending $1,500 a day on entertaining. A day. All this while taking a let-them-eat-cake approach to our children our seniors and public sector servants. To the Premier, just how much champagne, caviar and foie gras do you and your inner circle need? Honourable Deputy Premier. Mr. Speaker, the Honourable Member makes light of what's a very important piece of public work. It's not champagne and caviar. It's about bringing the world to Alberta to see what we have here. It's about making sure that people from the United States understand what the oil sands looks like, to understand what happens in Alberta, and are prepared to invest here, to work here, to come here to travel, to spend their money here, sometimes come to relocate here, but also to buy our products. And it's not just about going out and selling out to the world. It's also about having the world come to Alberta. That's not champagne and caviar, Mr. Speaker. It's good public work. Mr. Speaker, advice to this government, investing in our children, treating our seniors with dignity and respect, and investing in frontline public servants is the best investment we can make as a society. Right. Mr. Speaker, of the $1.2 million increase to the Premier's $11.6 million budget, 300000 will be spent on scribe, scribes tasked with replying to what must surely be a mountain of incoming correspondence. To the Premier, Complaints. if you're getting so many angry letters about Travelgate, wouldn't it be more cost effective just to pay back the 45,000 bucks instead of wasting another 300 grand? Yeah. Mr. Speaker, it may well be possible that that honorable member can answer all his letters on a Friday afternoon within an hour. Yeah. But I can tell you from experience, in this government, Albertans contact their government on a daily basis. They want information. They want accurate and quality information. They want to give the government their ideas about how we should do things. And we want to hear them and listen to them, and we want to respond to them. There is nothing improper with that. That's actually how government works. The Honourable Member ought to know that because he did have a short mentorship in that area, but he's obviously forgotten what he learned.